hi guys uh i hope everyone is doing well uh i just want to record a quick video uh before i start i want us to pray heavenly father we thank you god we thank you for your grace and your mercy jesus we thank you for the loving kindness that you have bestowed upon our lord i pray holy spirit i humble myself god as a vessel and i pray that you will take your place god speak through me lord and i pray that you have your way god in everything that we do we give you the praise and the glory in jesus name amen uh i just want to talk about a quick story in luke chapter 10 verse 38 to 42 about the story of martha and mary you know uh when jesus went into the house of Ma um, martha and martha was so you know she was so busy with life she was so busy with preparation doing things but you know and mary sat at the feet of jesus mary sat at the feet to hear the word of god she started to listen to jesus oh you know she started to listen to what he was saying and mary i mean and martha was so disturbed she came to jesus she asked why are you not telling mary to come and help me are you not concerned that you know all these things around is happening are you not concerned that you know she's not helping me but i love jesus answer jesus uh, said to martha 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 you are so disturbed you are so distracted or so many things so many things is bothering you but one of the good things is that mary have chosen that which cannot be taken from her is to which is to sit at the feet of jesus and it's so amazing because most of the time we're so distracted in life with things that is happening around us you know we are so distracted with the issue of life the burden of life but mary chose the most important thing mary chose to know jesus to listen to the word of god listen to what jesus was saying because she knew that there was something so special about jesus you know she chose to have a moment with him she chose to gaze upon his beauty she chose to just sit still and listen to him and i felt like in our life sometimes we become so busy of life that we don't even have time to just take a break and say god what are you speaking in my life god where are you leading me god you know where are you directing me like sometimes we don't even spend time to hear the heart of the father to know what he's speaking to our life to know what he's saying to us you know and May a martyr was very disturbed. I remember I used to be a martyr. I used to be very disturbed in life. Like I never used to have peace. I used to be so, you know, trouble on every side, anxiety and fear and worried and you know not feeling good enough. Like so, I had so much insecurity and, and like so many things, you know, that used to happen in my life, and. And when Jesus came in, or she was say when Jesus found me, like it became, I don't know how to explain it, but there is something that just changed within my life. Now, I don't see my life for all Jesus. Now is the, is the fact that I can picture my life for all Jesus. I can imagine my life for all Jesus because he has become my everything. He has become my life, you know? And he's saying like we shouldn't be so disturbed we shouldn't be so focused on you know working and gaining and you know hustling and everything that we forget our first love we forget the one that have made us the one that created us you know the fellowship with him the relationship that he desire the intimacy that he desire with us he don't want us to miss, you know, that intimacy with him, like just to sit at his feet and, and say, God, you know, speak to me. I love you, God. What are you saying in my life? What are you, you know, which direction are you leading me? Where do you want me to go? You know, what should I do when you are making decisions in your life, business decision, you know, relationship decision? Because sometimes we get into situation that, we haven't even, you know, asked the Lord for permission. We haven't asked the Lord if it's his word or not his word, you know. And each time when I read the story of Mary and Martha, like, I'm like, God, teach me how to sit at your feet. Teach me how to rest at your feet. Teach me how to rest 
in your presence holy spirit help me to just you know gaze upon your beauty help me to just love you and not for what you can give me but for everything for who you are help like help me to see you in your beauty help me to see you for who you really really are and it's amazing because god desire our heart he desire our intimacy relationship with him he desire for us to come to a stage that we know him to come to the point that you know we are so consumed with him his love and his mercy his grace his, and and everything of who he is like just having our intimacy relationship that is all he desire or intimacy relationship or intimacy relationship which cannot be taken that was what uh marriage you know chose or relationship with god to sit at his feet to listen to him you know to listen to the words that he was saying what matter was so disturbed matter was you know preparing things she was busy with life she had no time she had no time to sit and just listen to what he was saying and that's how it is now in the time we are living like we are so busy with everyday life we are so busy you know with things of this worry that we don't sit down you know sit time apart to just say god what are you speaking in the silent moment god what are you saying to my soul what are you saying to me god where are you leading me which direction are you leading me where do you want me to go god like just being a mary and sitting at his feet and say god i'm going to sit at your feet i'm going to follow your way i'm going to you know read your word i'm going to spend time with you i'm going to listen you know when you speak to me i'm not just going to say things but i'm going to you know be a follower or doer of your word like you know i'm i just want you to like take full control over me like consume me like take my heart like are you able to just say god like really mean it and say god i give you my heart i give you every part of me not just saying it but really mean it and say god this is your body this is your life you know i give it to you i i place it back into your hand i'm gonna sit at your feet i'm gonna rest in your presence i'm going to rest and hear what you are saying to me because without you i'm nothing without you like you know i can be anything but just to sit at your feet lord if you want me to sit at your feet you know if you want me to you know spend how many hours in and just listening to you i'm going to you know i'm going to dedicate those time to you god because you realize that your life is nothing without him you realize that he's your everything and that is what mary chose the good part she chose to sit at the feet of jesus well, Martha was so busy about life. She was so busy about things that was happening around her. She was so busy preparing things. And she missed the mark which was to sit at Jesus' feet. And now Jesus is saying, can you spend time with me? Can you sit at my feet? Can you just listen to my word? Can you just, you know, look at me and, you know, set your eyes on me, set your gaze on me, look towards the cross, like look to me, like I want to have a relationship with you. I want to do it inside of you. I want to live inside of you. I want us to have a fellowship. I want us to have a, you know, a, 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 a place, a relationship that no one can interact. This relationship, the relationship is just deep. It's just me and you. No one else. No one else. It's just me and you because trust me that's the kind of relationship he's looking for he's looking for a relationship or heart that is open to accept him or heart that want to love him and say god i surrender my all to you god i surrender myself to you god i don't want to be a martyr i want to be a mary i just want to gaze upon you i want you to just show me your love god teach me how to love you i cannot love you if you don't teach me how to love you because the father loved the son that why he gave his son to us because the father loved us and he loved the son you know a relationship that is so tight that no one can break that bond no one can come and whisper in your ear because why you have a relationship with jesus that is just you and him 
So this is what I want to share with you. You know, I want us to pray like that you ask God, Lord, help me to have a relationship with you. Teach me how to be in your presence, how to sit and gaze upon you, God. Help me how to just be silent and be still in your presence, God. And just let you love me, God. And teach me how to love you with all my heart, all my soul, and all my spirit. I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, because your word is true, Lord. I thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, because you are true. God, we love you with all our heart, Jesus. We love you. We really love you, God. I really love you, God. I pray, Lord, for everyone that will be listening to this recording, Father. I pray, Lord, may it not be a martyr, Lord. May it be a Mary to sit at your feet, Lord, to gaze upon your beauty, to love you in your holiness, God. That is our one desire, my desire, God. I want to be so consumed of you, God. Father, I pray, touch the heart of everyone, God. Touch the heart of everyone that will be listening to this video, Lord. May they know, God, a relationship. That's all you desire, to know you. To know the one is true and only true, God. Father, we surrender ourselves to you, God. Take over, Father. I give you the praise. I give you the glory, Lord, because you are waiting to be praised. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you and have a great day. In Jesus' name, amen.